Yeah, what's up with it? Do it cause I love it and I stuck with it We ain't with the sub and in the cut with it Please none of the talks, I heard enough of it Like, what you gon' do? Where you at? Who you with? You ain't really about this, don't talk about it Really on the move, on the map, never slip Keep your hands to your lips, don't talk about it Real eyes, real lies, real lies All the time, stand on it If we said it, we don't walk around it Loose lips, ink ships, red cup, blue strips New phone, who this? No, we don't allow it Really on go, I don't know what's an off day. Now we on road, came from Sheesh. Sheesh. Y'all already know the vibes, man. Gotta start the video off Ugh. with a quick startup, man. Y'all already know the vibes. Yo, what is good, y'all? Thank you guys so much for tuning in to yet again another vlog, another video. As you guys can see by the title and the thumbnail, Vader, Vader has no breaks, bruh. <laughs> Not like no breaks to the point where it's like if I slam on the brakes right now or I go to stop the car, it's not gonna stop. But no brakes to the point where when I come to a stop, it makes a noise. With that being said, y'all, we got ourselves a set of Hawk performance brake pads from Wild Hammer, man. You already know. Thank you again, Matt, for hooking your boy up fat. We got the fronts and the rears, you know. The one LE's got that big six, pick, six piston Brembo up front and that four piston Brembo in the rear. So we have the front and the rear pads. We're going to be installing these today. This is so as y'all can tell, got the car in the air, got all four losing tires taken off the car. The caliper is exposed. That big six piston up front. And that was big old four pistons in the rear. Room. So all we got to do is take out these retaining pins right here. And then the brake pads should just slide out and we'll be able to Put in the new pads and slide these pins back in and hold them back into place. But as you guys can see, the boy was low key playing with fire, man. Them is the rears, and as y'all can see, these are the fronts. They're basically gone. So we definitely needed these pads. So let's go ahead and get started. Man. Need like a little kick like this and a little hammer. All right, y'all. So you want to grab yourself some pliers, man. Kind of push in on this plastic joint right here. Well, not plastic, but this metal piece right here. Just relieve the tension. Really that. Join out, don't lose it. You know what I'm saying? It's not the same with this. Don't lose it, right now. I'm gonna come over here and grab the new pads. Shout out Hawk, man. They hooked the kid up with some stickers and whatnot. Appreciate y'all. Wild Hammer, appreciate y'all. All right, y'all, just want to give y'all a comparison. So this is the stock joint, the old joint. This is the new joint. You know what I'm saying? Look at the difference. Yeah, we definitely, we, we definitely need those pads. So, got the new ones installed already. Now we're going to go ahead and reassemble the retaining clips. Um, also, for these six pistons up front, there is these two pins, but there's also a 13 millimeter bolt that holds in a stud that goes across as well. So you're gonna have to remove that to be able to remove the brake pads. Now, one thing you wanna use is a flathead to kind of recess the actual pistons that are in the caliper um, inwards. That way you'll be able to pull out the old pad and put in the new pad. So you wanna basically decompress the pistons with the flathead. But now that we got that taken care of, we're gonna go ahead and reassemble and then we'll move to the rears. All right, y'all, so this is the finished product. Everything is uh, completely assembled, bolted down, tightened up. Got the pads on there looking nice and good. Now we're gonna go ahead and move to the rears. Later the rears are super easy. There's no bolt for this one since it's just a four piston caliper. So it's just these two retaining pins, the little plastic clip, and then you slide them joints out. You're gonna decompress the pistons just like you did the fronts with that flat head and then slide the new pads in and put in, basically reassemble the caliper. And then remember, remember, remember. Always remember to pump your brakes before just driving, bruh. 
<laughs> please pump your brakes because it's going to recompress the pistons and then you'll actually be able to use your brakes now if you just go without pumping the brakes and you start rolling backwards and apply the brakes and notice that you have to go all the way to the floor for the car to stop it's because you didn't pump the brakes so pump the brakes all right you guys so i just kind of ran through the rears because like i said it's literally just these two retaining pins and that's all it's nothing too crazy nothing too hard um, you guys will definitely be able to do it so this side is done as you guys can see new rears and then we come to this side i also did this side as well new rears you get what i'm saying um, got the pins and everything back in place as they're supposed to be i'll be honest i really didn't need to do the rears but i was like i already got them and you know i'm already here might as well just throw them on and also it should help with the brake dust that you know these brimbos be throwing out like that all right y'all so with all that being said man i'm gonna go ahead and put on all the wheels put the car on the floor and then pump the brakes like i was telling you guys you have to do and we should be good to go ahead and wrap up this video shoot the outro so let me go ahead and do that real quick i'll see you on a little bit all right you guys as y'all see i got the car on the ground now now i'm gonna show you guys what i mean by pumping the brakes okay so let's go ahead and unlock the door pop invader real quick so basically you're going to get in your car you don't need to have the car on for this at all and you're just going to see how i just went all the way to the floor you're going to pump it one time and then literally once you do that one time it should go ahead and compress those pistons i already know i got to get y'all to start up man so have not seen the video of my review of my exhaust setup man make sure you guys go tap in it'll be tagged at the end of this video if i'm not mistaken and if it is if i am mistaken and it's not tagged at the end of this video it's like the third video after this one so go check it out but yeah man got that awe going crazy got the beer diffusers that's going crazy that's like so good i'm debating on getting those made carbon fiber just to differentiate from the black but we'll see i'm not sure but i'm gonna go ahead and back the car out now and that'll be it yeah sir man so there you guys have it got vader backed out of the shop right now got the new pads on the car's looking crazy with these new tires in the rear man like I was saying, I've been thinking about getting these rear splats for the diffuser made in carbon fiber. I feel like it'll differentiate with the black and flow with the side skirts more. I've also been thinking about, I know that ain't my car, baby. But I've also been thinking about um, doing the front splitter in carbon fiber as well. So I'm not 100% sure which route I want to take. You guys let me know in the comment section down below. But that's actually going to go ahead and wrap it up for today's video. I'll let you guys know in a different vlog my opinions on the brake pads and whatnot. After I drive with it for a little bit, I'll let you guys know if the Hawk joints actually stop brake dust. And if they, you know, perform well. Because, you know, they are performance pads. So, we'll see, man. But without any further ado, man, that's going to do it for today's video. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, man. Turn on those post notifications. Give this video a big thumbs up and comment down below what brake pads you guys are running on your cars. Um, I'm super stoked to see how these joints do. Again, my boy Matt over at Wild Hammer Motorsports um, actually, you know, recommended these joints to me. So with that being said, I'm going to be seeing how these joints do, man. But that's going to wrap it up for this one. Let's go ahead and roll that outro and I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.